Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, put our new armor on and see how we look here. Oh, that <laughs> I like that, man. <laughs> that looks awesome. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we're going to start off this episode uh, by exploring Emily Frey's tavern because I realized when I was editing the last video that I, we never actually came in here. So I ran all the way back up here, and inside of here we have a new desert city wall block, which we'll take, and then we also have a note. Emily Frey's diary entry one. The earth becomes drier by the day. It crumbles betwixt my fingers into sand. I wipe beads of sweat from my forehead. Pale, sorrowful droplets stay, stay in the field. I doubt they'll find their way into the depths to feed the crops. I pray silently for my lips are too dry to speak, but I muster a smile when I serve the little I have. I built this tavern with my own hands. Therefore, I cannot rest nor leave. I will work the soil until the end, as my ancestors did before me. Okay, so a little bit of backstory on Emily there. Uh, okay, so... Uh, let's see, is there anything else in here? So this was Emily's Tavern. How cool. Just some palm wood there. Lots of scrap metal in Emily's Tavern. Let's see what's upstairs here. Got a room, some feathers. Not really seeing anything else in here. This just goes out to a balcony. Alright. And we got another room here. Grab that scrap metal. Lock picks. Okay. So I think that's it for Emily's Tavern. Um, all right. So the plan today is to keep trying to work on getting the loom. That's really what I really want to do. Oops. I was going to grab that dried fur, but it's alright. Let's take this and melt it down. Um, okay, so we have, um, where were we last time? We were, we were up here. So this is where we found the alchemist tools, uh, which by the way, I did, I uh, was finally able to make the alchemy station, um, which is the last tool for the alchemist. And I set down a thing here, so let's go ahead and fast travel to that location. And uh, that's pretty much where we left off. That um, area right down there is where we got the alchemy, um, the alchemy tools. In fact, it looks like it's getting dark. There's the big dam there. So let's go home and sleep, and then we'll come back here. So yeah, we made uh, this thing here, the big alchemy station, and right now I'm making nitrate in there. We can also make paper, spice, and black powder in here. All things that we'll probably eventually need to do. Oh, excuse me. All right, so... Ooh. Emily. We found your tavern. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that you built that tavern. <coughs> and uh, served your customers there until the shroud destroyed the world. Um, okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's get repaired up, put some stuff away, sleep, and then we'll head on back out. All right, we are back and ready to rumble here. Let's refresh our energy. Um, all right, so 
Let's look at our quests again. Uh, we're trying to find the loom. We've got to find this place called East Lapis, which does not show up on the map for some crazy-ass reason. Um, so we need to actually go down this way for the beehive smoker, which is this direction. Well, let's, uh, let's go after that first, I guess. Uh, except for we don't want to go down that way. Um, is there a way to get around over here? Yeah, there's a bridge down here. Let's make that the active quest as well. So it's going to be right in this area here. Honey. An iron arrow. Lots of honey around. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess the quest just updated. Now it wants us to go way the hell up there. Okay. Well, let's do it. I think we might... Need to turn around and go the other direction. Is this another sulfur mine? It's a sulfur and lapis mine? Uh, no, it looks like it's just a sulfur mine. Okay. Um, unless we can find a way to get over there from here, like maybe through this cave? Perhaps? Easier to take these guys out with the wand. Oh, it just dead ends here. Okay. So it isn't a passage all the way through kind of cave. Let's go this way a little further before we turn around, but I think we might need to turn around. Unless this will get us over there. Maybe. Yep, yeah, maybe it will. This train is kind of like part Kendall Waste and part Highlands. Rather odd. What is this? A big uh, Vuka camp? Looks like it. Oh, shit, that hurts. Oh, by the way, I made the eternal heal channel now too so and it heals for a lot so I'm going to take a guess that the VUCA are the ones that stole Emily's uh, beehive thingamadoodle. Just a guess at this point, though. I don't know that for sure. Okay, let's see. 
got to watch out for their little spiky spike traps. Anything up here? Some hide. We need to go this way. I like to find one of their little buff things. Thought I saw something unusual in the, that cave, but maybe not. Location above it says Vuka Sacrifice Hill. How much you want to bet we're going to have to fight another big hair boss? Yep, there he is right there. Okay, let's get our good arrows. And let's also replenish this. He's level 25. It's as high as it gets. There we go. All right, we found the beehive smoker. Very nice. I believe with that we can make our own beehive. And we need we still need honey for the fruit salad. There's a chest here. Level 25 shepherd's staff rare quality. That's probably an upgrade. What do we have? We have a level 23, 44 power, 47 power. This does have one more thing, but I think this is probably going to be better overall. Let's just salvage that. Okay, so that takes care of the beehive smoker quest. We've got that wiped off the list. Um, all right, let's go back to our journal here, and we'll have to turn that into Emily. Among the Blue Jays. Legendary Glider. Where is this located? Oh, yeah, that's the thing that's way down there. Okay, I don't want to go down there right now. I want to see if we can find this. Uh, here, let's go back to the journal. Put that, make that. I want to see if we can find this East Lapis place. Find the Weaver's Cottage in East Lapis. Um, okay, so... That's a southern caravan thingy. It's possible we could go a little further north. It could be up that way. That's... This is all... I think all this is all in the shroud. Okay, so let's head north and see what there is to see. I don't know if we need to keep harassing the VUCA here. Yeah, let's just go. Kind of neat looking up here. Oh! We still have Deadly Shroud, huh? That's probably the border of the map, though, I'm guessing. Well, let's just go as far north as we can. Oh, wait a minute. There is what might be another town up here. Maybe this is where we need to go. Where are we at? We're actually heading south. Okay, before we 
before we do that, I just want to run over here and look at this really quick. This is most likely the the border, the northern border of the map. But the cool thing is, is um, there's a hell of a lot more map space. And, you know, that would seem to indicate that the devs are going to expand the game, you know, uh, in the future with that space, which is very cool. There's a chest. Okay. Um... I think that's all the further this little cave goes. That's... Oh, that's iron. I think that's iron. It is indeed. Cool, okay. Good to know. Yep, there's more iron back here too. like it's blocked off by debris. Okay, so um you know what? I don't actually think I need to mark that. We're good. Good to go. Oh, wait a second. What's this? Oh, one of those things. Wait a minute. Why is that there though? There's no shroud in here. That's weird. More iron, though. Lots of iron in here. If you wanted to come and just mine some iron in peace, uh, this would be the place to do it. My goodness. chest. Whoa! Uh, turn around, please. Turn around! Ugh. I couldn't turn. I have that problem in this game sometimes. Uh, what if we just pull out of there? A forest longbow. Uh, 15 stamina cost? No, thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Lots of iron in this place. Okay, let's head back to that um, town, and hopefully that's East Lapis. Um, the reason I really want to get the loom so badly is because... That'll allow us then to make that uh, really nice uh, hunter set. This is probably Deadly Shroud. I just want to see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's as far north as we go. There's a spire over there. East Lapis. Huzzah. All right. Nice. Uh, what do we got here? Some kind of a mine. Oh, it looks like it's sulfur down there. Okay. A little bit of a, a moat there with some bombs and stuff. We have level 25 baddies in here. One shot that guy though. I'm going to 
pick up that cloth right now. Okay, well, the quest doesn't tell us exactly where to go. It just says it's a weaver's cottage in East Lapis. So we have to find a weaver's cottage, whatever the hell that looks like. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, that was a death trap. Oh crap, okay. Uh, I'm not even sure exactly where our last... Oh yeah, it was right here, never mind, okay. I was gonna say where our last um, waypoint was. Yeah, those red bugs are dangerous. Let's see if we can... get away for a second so we can kind of heal up here. And we got a rebuff too. Okay. Alright, he's dead. Oh, you stuck? Sucks to be you, man. Who else is shooting at me? Oh, we're at the Weaver's Cottage. to this. We have our healing food too, but I want to uh, stay topped off because these enemies are dangerous. Okay, who's, who else has got us? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. Alright. Can we loot you? sand digger. Okay, so is the weaver's cottage uh, up here? It seemed to kind of indicate that, wouldn't it? somebody else's attention somewhere. Let's go in here. Location below it says. Okay. I've got that, uh, you know, finishing kill move, but it doesn't always proc for some reason. I thought it was supposed to proc once you, uh, you know, fatigue those guys. Ooh. Okay, let's go down this way. I'm going to try this, too. Ah, look at that. That's cool. I don't know how long that lasts. It doesn't seem to give quite as much light as um as the potion does though. And nowhere near as much light as this does. It says location reached, okay. What am I looking for exactly? Search the weaver's cottage for the loom. 
Okay, well, we know the loom's not going to be in the cottage because we've got more... Um, Oh, no, actually, it probably will be in here because the last one is when we do the turn-in. Okay, so usually when you find that stuff, it's, it says location below, location reached. It's got the, like, you know, the little red glowing stuff. And, okay, I guess we're going to have to go down here. There it is. Okay. Nice. We found the loom. Woot woot. Also down in shroud. Oh, not good. Run away. Okay. I don't know what happened to that wisp thing, but... this guy that's a big old thing of a tin I think yep big old thing of tin ore Okay. Trying to get it to hit the... Oh, for goodness sakes. We have... Uh, wood arrows. Stay away from me, you big mini. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, as long as you can. Oh shit! Shoot those guys. Relax up here for a second. Oh shit. Just waiting for my healing potion to kick back in. That's not helping. Alright, where is that mofo? The guy that's shooting at me, where is he? Is it you? dead. Oh, there's two green guys. It's you. Okay. All right. Let's, um, let's throw a big bomb down on these guys. <laughs> that doesn't do that much damage to them, unfortunately. Kind of stuck down in the hole now, though. There we go. Saw a guy in here. There we go. 
All right, um... There's probably a lot more that we could do here in East Lapis. But I think what I want to do, especially considering how dangerous this place is, the enemies are all level 25, just like we are. I think I'd like to go home and see if we can get our end-game armor made. So, let's do that. All right. Loom retrieved. Very good. Never underestimate thread. When strong enough, it can patch any wound or close any throat. Place the loom if you want to cut to the chase. Catch you later. Okay. Let's take the loom. And how big is this thing? Oh, it's not too big. We'll put it right in this corner for now. Not necessarily where it'll stay permanently, but... Alright, so we need to be able to craft... I thought we had to craft padding. That says fabric. Um. Alright, hold on. Let's look at the... Oh, okay. So padding... She, she crafts padding. We just need to make the fabric in order to, to do that. Gotcha. Okay. So, for the so can can we make like different colored clothes i mean this would seem to suggest that right i just don't know how we would do that but i want to go to the deer stalker set and we're going to need uh two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen we're going to need fifteen padding to make this entire set and uh, there was something else that we needed padding for, too, but I can't remember what it was. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to sleep and put stuff away and all that. And then I'm going to just grind up everything that we need uh, to make... 15 padding and I think I have everything else if I don't I'll get that too so when I bring you guys back we'll make our deer stalker armor set see you in a bit all right guys I am back uh, it's taken me a long time uh, to make all of the stuff that we need for this armor set um, so first of all I somehow or another had missed that the carpenter which is kind of weird uh, but the carpenter can make these spin, uh, spinning wheels, which make linen with just one flax instead of two, and I think maybe a little bit faster. Um, and the reason why I think that's weird is because the hunter is the one that makes everything else for making cloth. I mean, the hand spindle and the loom in particular. So why does the carpenter make the spinning wheel? That just kind of seems weird, and I just kind of happened to stumble across that uh, you know, without re realizing it until I did. And so I made two of those, you know, to, to, to speed up uh, making right. linen. And then, I, I, as you can see, I made another uh, loom here, too, also to speed up the process. Uh, so I think I have everything that I need now to make the set. Now, I was looking at the sets, and I'm going to change things up just a little bit here. So what I want to do is I want to make the deer stalker hood just because I think it looks really cool. But... Um, but I'm going to actually make the dead eye set for everything else. And it still, you know, kind of has that aqua blue color. So I still think it'll match. Okay. But, um, the, you know, I don't like the dead eye helmet. It's just, I don't know. It's just kind of weird looking and it's got the same exact stats as the, as the deer stalker hood. Okay. Um, so I think I counted all of the materials correctly. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the hood. Okay. And then we're going to switch over to the dead eye set and we're going to make um, the chest, the gloves, 
the pants and the boots and we have everything okay cool and also just to show you uh, the helmets are the same but the difference between the deer stalker chest and the dead ch uh, dead eye chest is that this is just straight up 24 health and 48 stamina whereas the dead eye chest gives you five minutes of rested bonus and 48 stamina um and plus I, I think I like the way it looks a little bit better too okay so so let's look at the gloves so the deer stalker gloves is six range damage and 12 uh, damage 12 percent damage multiplier I'm assuming maybe on on whatever bow you're using perhaps not really sure about that um, and the dead eye gloves give three percent damage multiplier to the bow specifically but eight percent skill shot damage uh, so basically headshot damage um, and then if we look at the britches here uh, you get plus 18 stamina and one sprint speed with the deer stalker what wait what that says gloves <laughs> just notice that uh yeah that's a little minor bug that needs to be fixed <laughs> uh, so anyway yeah you get 18 stamina and one sprint speed and with the trousers for the dead eye you get uh, four stamina regeneration and nine stamina and then if we look at the boots um, th uh, minus 350 regen delay and four stamina regen versus minus 700 milliseconds of regen delay and three stamina regen. Um, so those are the difference, you know, differences between the sets. Uh, also, I I had um, I had uh, let's get over here in the light a little bit better. The blacksmith make me this uh, shield of light, which is better than the flame shield that I was using. So we made that too. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, put our new armor on and see how we look here. Oh, that <laughs> I like that, man. <laughs> that looks awesome. That is very cool looking. Okay, so we have now made the best craftable, as far as I know anyways, uh, the best craftable armor in the game that we could make for a ranged... Uh, character which of course is what our main thing is uh, so that looks really good uh, it looks good with the axe too especially with the you know glow of the blue that's actually coming from that block down below um, but yeah that that looks really neat um, I almost want to here let's do this let's uh, turn the HUD off for a second and let's also turn the camera off and I'm going to take a, a screenshot of that because I think it looks really cool. Okay. Um, so, yeah. That uh, gets us all set up there for um, for our armor. Uh, also, uh, I expanded the garden a little bit more and I planted the, the better um, farm dirt, uh, you know, with the nitrate. And uh, stuff grows very, very fast now. That's the whole point. And I added more um, seed beds, too, just because, I, you know, I, I went through, I don't know how many cycles, I'd say probably at least four, um, you know, cycles of, of growing this, um, what do you call it, flax. Uh, and then, you know, just to make all of the, the padding, because, yeah, that was a lot of, that was a lot of stuff. I'm not... Hmm. The little flippity floppity things on the helmet are kind of weird. <laughs> it says in the description that the purpose of those is so the hunter can tell which way the wind's blowing, which makes sense. But yeah, it's it's a little bit weird, but I don't. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So we got some we got some really nice armor here, peeps. Um, let's go. What's it look like in the sunlight? Yeah, I like it. I like it. And we got it. We got our little uh, bow with it too. That looks really good. Um, okay. So anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. Oh, I also put uh, some beehives down, and I put a an advanced or you know the bigger well down too, as you can see there. I don't think I did anything else different. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wrap up the episode here, and then not exactly sure what we'll do in the next episode. 
Uh, oh, you know what? We'll probably go after this. And then once we finish this, this that should, as far as I know anyways, should conclude all of the, the quests that we get from our craftsmen unless... You know, unless something else, you know, triggers, you know, new quests. But right now, none of them have any more quests for us except for, you know, getting that glider. So that'll be our first thing that we'll do in the next episode is go after that. And then we'll, you know, after that, we'll kind of see, you know, where we are. Um, I still have, you know, we still have work to do downstairs here for, you know, setting up the bedrooms. And we're going to put a, we're going to put a big bathroom down here. Yeah, either that or I'm just going to put you know, like the toilet and all that in each individual's room. That probably would actually make more sense. So we'll probably do that. You know, we'll do some cool stuff down here. Um, I was thinking about moving the storage down here too, but I might not do that. These, uh, you know, these extra large storage boxes have a lot of space, so we could probably just put them there. Their, their external space is still the same footprint, you know, as these. These are mediums, by the way. Um, so we might... You know, we might just keep the storage up here. It's just really handy to have it there because then I can run right to it to put stuff away. And, uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Speak quick and quiet. What? No. Go away.